Today we're going to be talking about your online identity and how you can manage and protect it. Everything we do online leaves some sort of trace, such as buying something from an online retailer like Amazon, or even just carrying out a Google search. You leave traces of yourself across the internet. Sometimes these traces can be small things like your IP address, or the location that you were searching from. Some companies use these little traces to build up a picture of you, so they can promote their services to you better. You can sometimes control how these traces get released, but often they just happen without you even realising. But when it comes to your identity, you have a little bit more control over what you release. Your identity is you, and more specifically, facts about you. Things like your date of birth, where you went to school, or even your hair colour. Your identity is the sum of your characteristics, some of which change over time and some of which stay the same. When you create new accounts online, you often use an identifier, such as an email address or username. What you then put on this account, especially with services such as Facebook, become your persona. Confused yet? Well, that's okay, but knowing the differences between these different terms can help you stay safe online and also stay in control of what information about you is out there for the world to see. But how does all of this apply to your research or studies? Understanding how your use of the internet can leave a trace allows you to manage your online identity a lot better. To explain what I mean by this, try googling yourself. If you have a fairly common name, maybe combine it with a town name that is more commonly associated with you, such as Cambridge. Are you surprised by the results? Is there anything there that you expected to come up but didn't? The reason as to why I'm highlighting this is that the more you progress through your professional career, whether that's in research or in something completely different, what people can find out about you through a simple web search can be quite important. Regularly checking on what comes up for you and making sure that any profiles and accounts are up to date and accurate is a key part of maintaining your online identity in both professional and personal capacities. Too much or too little information could affect how you are perceived by others, sometimes unfairly. An out-of-date LinkedIn profile can easily turn people off connecting with you, while lots of overly personal information may allow others to know a bit more about you than you're entirely comfortable with, such as Facebook posts being viewable by everyone because you haven't taken care of your privacy settings. Another area where you can manage your online identity is ensuring that any accounts you do have are safe and still need to be kept live. Services such as Twitter can be prone to being hacked and sending out lots of spam tweets without you even realising it as you haven't used an account for a few years. One excellent service to ensure that your security hasn't been compromised is Have I Been Pawned? In leet speak internet slang, pawned essentially means to appropriate or gain ownership, often in gaming scenarios. In the case of Have I Been Pawned, it allows for you to check that any emails or other accounts haven't been compromised in any mass hacking events. If you do find your account is compromised, it's a good opportunity to change passwords, or possibly even check on any unusual activity and even close the account down if you're no longer using it. Once you've sorted out any rogue accounts that you'd forgotten about and made that old MySpace page a bit more private, you can now start developing your professional and online identity. There are lots of excellent services out there, some of which we will explore in other videos, which, and they will help you build a professional presence online with relatively little effort. To get a better idea of what is out there, check out the University of Cambridge's Office of Scholarly Communications website, which we've linked to in the description below. I hope that this video hasn't worried you too much and that you now understand the importance of keeping tabs on what you post online and how you can quickly and easily present the best online identity for yourself to, for others to find online. Let us know in the comments what weird and wonderful things you found out about yourself when you've tried googling your name and see you next time for more, more methods.